Suicide Squad was set up as the comeback movie for the DC Cinematic Universe. It was going to be the one that made us forget about Deadpool. It was going to remind us of the glory days of the Dark Knight. Um, and it was going to do all of this, and everything was thrown at it. It had a big cast with some big names in there, uh, Will Smith uh, amongst them. It had Jared Leto as a new, interesting Joker that sparked some controversy when we first saw him. Uh, but really the question is, has it lived up to that? Is this a movie that's going to, uh, from a critic's perspective, recover a lot from Batman vs Superman, or at the very least set us on a more unified, we all agree this is a good way for DC. And we both agree, although for different reasons, that it didn't start out that way. The beginning mm. of this movie wasn't the sort of movie that this is going to take on Deadpool, this is going to take mm. on the Marvel Universe. It was very slow very drawn out. It took a very long time to get to the interesting part of Suicide Squad, which is the Suicide Squad interacting and getting along or not getting along together um, and actually fighting. Uh, we disagree in terms of how we felt the beginning went. For me, the beginning was too much of a, here's a uh, dead shot, let's talk about him briefly. Now let's talk about Harley Quinn and kind of set up some of the characters in the Suicide Squad in an incredibly, for me, unimaginative way. I think there's, you know, you could really have gone to fun with how you introduced them. Uh, and for example, some other characters did have some really cool introductions and stories that developed as the movie went on that showed you could have introduced them in a different way, but I just felt it was very lazy and unimaginative, unimaginative. Delayed the introduction, it pushed everything back, it meant that we couldn't have as much development in the middle because we had taken up so much time in the beginning to get things going. I disagree with Matt on the point of the introduction being done badly. I thought it was a refreshing take on uh, the dramatic, usual, long drawn out origin stories that we get, especially in the Marvel Universe. Um, what I do agree with Matt on is that the beginning, for me longer than him, uh, was very drawn out. It was very drawn out and it took us a long time to get to the team aspect of it. I mean, we know we're being fattened up and made ready for a sequel, but we don't like to feel like that while we're watching it, you know? We like to feel as if, you know, these characters are in a believable universe and it's not just, uh, you know, introducing them one by one and then they all come together and happy at the end. Definitely took too long. Yeah. Um, and like you said, the middle was sacrificed because of that long introduction. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll disagree on that point of, um, here's Deadshot, here's Harley Quinn, here's Killer Croc. I like that. I thought it was very cool. If they're a team, that's how it should be. Anyway, um, to move on to another thing that we thought fell flat was the music. The trailer promised such good music. Yeah. And it also promised music uh, intertwined with the drama of certain scenes and the action. Uh, a good example to compare um, where, where it was done properly was the scene in X-Men with uh, Quicksilver, yeah. where they use Sweet Dreams by the Eurythmics and he sort of slowed down everything and, you know, saved everyone. That was how, that's how it should be done. Here we were just randomly being thrown at, you know, by 70s hits from the Rolling Stones, Queen, um, and uh, even the animals popped up there. But there was no context. The only time they used context I think was when they used the Eminem track without me, uh, when the Suicide Squad was getting ready, getting geared up. That was cool, that was relevant. The end scene could have been Bohemian Rhapsody with all the slow motion. The slow yeah. motion looked very strange because it wasn't, you know, there was no irony or... That would have been a perfect moment. It would have been a perfect moment. So I felt a bit cheated by that. Although the soundtrack was good, now there's going to be a whole lot of teenagers who know Queen and know the Rolling Stones because of the soundtrack, which is annoying for us, but um, good way to expose the music, just not used in the right context. Uh, getting onto some of the good, uh, because ultimately we feel that this is a good movie. Yeah. And really, um, from, I'd say a little bit earlier then, but we definitely agree from the bar scene onwards, yeah. is where the movie goes from being really flat to just exactly the sort of level that it needed it to be at. Cool. It was so cool. That mm. bar scene was one of my favorite scenes in a superhero movie for a, a very long time. Yeah. Um, and I think it was so good because it was the first time that the movie just let the characters interact properly yes. with one another. They had thought of beforehand, had some interaction, uh, but they were sort of like, uh, they weren't jiving particularly too well. Uh, but from that moment on, they were 
they worked really well as a team. The movie picked up. The action that you followed, you were a lot more invested in. Yes. Uh, some of the characters developed amazingly well. Yes, in one in, scene. In that one scene. Um, and that's good. And the interactions between them. And you really got behind the idea that this group of people who shouldn't get along and shouldn't be fighting for any particular good cause or any cause uh, are and that there's motivation to do that. And for me, that, and for both of us, that was a major turning point. And so uh, credit to the characters, credit to the actors, um, who really, I think, took on their characters and did some mm -hmm. amazing roles uh, there. I agree on that point. Um, I think that scene in particular showcased what a good cast they had. Yes. Because all of them own their role, you know, in that scene especially. Yeah. Um, I think the only one missing was Jared, obviously. But overall, um, a young actress like Margot Robbie, she shone in a scene yeah. like that, where they hate the world, but they can't help but be where they are at this point in time. Um, along with that, we thought that after that scene, everything picked up and it took us to quite a strong ending. Uh, in the ending, you got good action, you got a good uh, summary of the plot and a good tying up of all the loose ends that were very loose for a long time. Yeah. Um, also, a good showcase of the characters and how they, their relationships had built over, over the film, which we were lacking in the beginning of the film. The downfall of the end was the CGI. Our enchantress, who was supposed to be really scary and, you know, evil, evil started sort of dancing and not, not standing still. Also, her voice was a bit out of context, scary. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, that didn't work for us. Yeah, it was, it was kind of a juxtaposition yeah. uh, between it. Suicide Squad ultimately may not have been the saviour that the DC Universe uh, was hoping for, or that indeed the fans of the DC Universe were hoping for. But we think that ultimately it sets up a really good uh, conclusion to where DC is going with their cinematic universe. And yes, it's annoying, as Talia said earlier on, to know that you're just watching something that's feeding something bigger than that you're bigger than this particular movie, and so the movie isn't ultimately able to enjoy itself with just being itself. But it's really looking good for the yeah. DC universe as a whole. It's a very strong Suicide Squad. It's yeah. a strong ending. There's some very strong characters there. I'm very keen to see them again. Yeah. I don't think that means we're going to watch this this particular movie several times, but I think it bodes very well um, come Justice League and the rest of the DC cinematic universe. I put it in between um, Dark Knight and Avengers, or the latest Captain America. Yeah. It sort of lies in between. Not as good as Dark Knight, and not as like typical, predictable as the latest yeah. Captain America. Yeah. yeah. So should we give it thumbs? Thumbs, yeah. One and a half from me. Yeah. We are in agreement, despite disagreeing on some things. Great. I'm Matthew. I'm Talia. And this has been the Critics Review of The Suicide Squad. Cool. Cool, cool. We did it. Even with interruptions. Even with. Can we do a lot of chopping? That's fine. And it was still recording.